this video, I'm going to be demonstrating one of the new features of OCalc Pro version 5.03, which is the ability to set a reference origin object or utilize a reference elevation or reference angle to manipulate objects attached to your pole. The easiest way to access these options is to go to the Edit drop-down menu, where you'll see a new option called Reference Origin. Then in this sub-menu, you can see the ability to set an origin angle or an origin elevation, and then clear those options. Let's begin by setting an origin elevation. Setting an origin elevation allows a user to put in a height to use as a reference. Let's say we wanted to use 15 feet. And press OK. And once I press OK, that reference height is tagged in my 3D view here, indicated by this orange text. Now what I can do is utilize a new shortcut to move objects on my pole in relation to this reference height. For instance, if I wanted to move this spool, I can select the spool, and then for its installation height, let's say I want to make sure this spool is three feet higher than whatever my reference height is. I can utilize a new shortcut where I type in ref plus three, which results in an installation height of 18 feet, which is three feet higher than what my reference is. If I wanted to move my spool three feet lower than what my reference is, I can put in ref minus three, which will move my spool three feet lower. Now I'm going to clear my reference height, going under edit, reference origin, clear origin elevation which will remove the tag. What I can also do is use an item on the pole to set my reference. Say the street light, for example. I can right click on the street light or on any item, and I have this option to set as the reference origin for the data entry window. When I select that, the attachment height of this item is tagged. What's also tagged is the rotation that that item has, which is indicated here by this orange arrow on our ground line compass. Now sticking with manipulating height for a moment, I can again select my spool. And for installation height, I can put in again ref plus four, which will move my spool four feet higher than what my reference height is, which in this case is 21.8. Now what I can also do is rotate objects related to my reference object, because again, we do have a reference angle as well, which in this case is 90 degrees. We can verify that by looking at the actual street light, our reference object, and looking at its rotation, which is 90 degrees. So what this means is that we can rotate objects relative to the rotation of the street light. Take, for example, this insulator here. This insulator is currently rotated to zero degrees, so it's on the zero degree side of our pole. If I wanted to rotate this insulator an additional 90 degrees from the rotation of my street light, for rotation, I can put in, again, ref, R-E-F, plus 90. And keep in mind, this is 90 degrees more than the rotation of my street light, so this should put us on the 180 degree side of our pole. When I push enter, 180 degrees populates this field, and my insulator is now rotated an additional 90 degrees from my reference object. This works going in the opposite direction as well. If I were to put in ref minus 45, I would be rotated 45 degrees counterclockwise from the rotation of my streetlight. So now my insulator is over here on the 45 degree side of the pole. If I wanted to clear the street light as my reference object, I can go under Edit, under Reference Origin, and hit Clear Reference Origin. And if I wanted to only set a reference angle or a reference rotation, I could go under Edit, Reference Origin, Set Origin Angle, in which case I can just type in a value, say 180 degrees. 
And what that does is only tags the ground line compass where 180 degrees is and doesn't tag any height on the pole. Again, this is because we're only setting the reference angle. We're not setting a reference object. Utilizing these reference shortcuts will allow a user to manipulate objects relative to other items that already exist on the pole.